Ladies and gentlemen, what the hell is going on with this support SR game? Now, I thought this was fixed, but quite clearly, it is not. And we are sitting in a situation right now where if you play support, you will simply not get as much SR as a DPS player or a tank player. And how the hell can that be seen as fair? I mean, it's ridiculous. Like, I have played a lot of support and I've played a lot of DPS. And I've played with people who have played, like, they're playing DPS. Okay, so for an example, I've been playing in a duo. And in that duo, I play with a DPS player. That DPS player, in one single sample game where we had no win streak going, it was literally the first game, I had over 20,000 healing as Anna, right? That's pretty damn good. Obviously, it's gold healing. I'm playing Anna, I should be gold, right? That's great, that's awesome. My contribution is great, and we've won the game. Don't forget that, we have won the game. This other player is playing DPS, but only has silver damage and silver elimination, so you could argue, well, they're not actually at the best of their role, right? Somebody's got more eliminations, somebody's got more... Uh, damage than them, right? Which is awesome. And then we look at the end of the game. I get 18 SR, that person gets almost 30. What? <laughs> What? Why are they getting more than me? Now, of course, there might be other things going on in the background, like different kinds of MMR calculations and all that stuff, but what we believe to know is true right now is that SR is directly tied to how long you are on fire in a game, and it is very, very, very difficult for support players to be on fire right now. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go into detail on this in this video because this is a, honestly, this is quite a shocking issue that really, really does need looking at. This video is brought to you by Dell Gaming, featuring Intel Core i7 processors. Don't just play, game. And once again, thanks to Dell for allowing me to give away this awesome laptop. Guys, click the link in the description below if you'd like to win this laptop. Right, let's get stuck into this video. So there was this post, and this was on the 31st of March, and this is from Jeff Kaplan. And he says this, We fixed an issue that was causing Mercy's contributions to be lower as it pertained to skill rating reward at the end of a competitive win. We're still investigating, though, to make sure the issue is entirely fixed. The fix we put live was integrated on Tuesday and we're still hearing some reports. We'll keep working to fix it if it is in fact still broken. We're trying to verify right now. So basically what was happening is when you heal somebody you get less on fire. When you get an assist you get less on fire. What the hell do support players do? They heal people uh, and they assist them. So if you're playing Mercy, who is the one that suffers the most from this, if you're damage boosting somebody, you're getting nothing as a result of them killing people. If you're healing people, you're getting literally nothing as a result of them staying alive to actually kill people. I mean, it's ludicrous to me. A support heals the DPS and the tanks, which allows them to remove enemy players from the game. So how can that contribution be seen as less than the DPS players killing people? It's completely ridiculous. Anyway, apparently this was fixed, but clearly it's not. And then we get this recent post, and well, it says this. Are you serious? The reason is obvious. You ninja nerfed fire assists for Mercy. Her only source of fire now is to res. That is so backwards. It is not even funny when you are doing your jobs as a healer well and you don't have to res often. You get punished with awful SR gains. I just had a game with two reses in 10 minutes for 18 SR. If I get a res a minute, it's usually I get 27 plus SR. But Mercy is not only resing. Raise the fire for healing and boosting and your problem is solved. The community needed two days to figure this out, not three weeks. Plus 18 SR for doing my job well. That's awful. Uh, or awful. Awful. That's like awesome and awful to go. It's not. That's awful. That's frustrating. You want us to let the team die on purpose to res just to gain normal SR? Well, that's a valid thing, right? And then we get this response. And it says, uh, this is from one of the quality, well, I think it's from the quality assurance lead. While I cannot go into detail regarding, regarding how the system works at a code level, I can tell you that my team verified the changes that were implemented. If you have feedback regarding the rate at which SR is accrued, I suggest you compile your feedback. So blah, blah, blah. Basically, no, it's fixed what you're talking about. Well, is that true? So then I started to go through the forums. And, uh, well, honestly, we're going to look at these posts now because this is kind of evidence which points towards th this massive disparity in support versus everybody else. And I cannot understand why this is even a thing because overwatch is a team game why are they making it easier for dps players to gain on fire rating through damaging and removing the enemy players 
than supports from healing those DPS to allow them to do it. You all know, guys, if you've got a bad support, you lose the game. If you don't have a support, you lose the game. If you've got one support against two supports in the enemy team, most of the time, you lose the game. Support should not be the role where it's like, oh, okay, I'll do the support role this time. It should be a role which is highly rewarding because it keeps the team alive. It shouldn't be different from tanks or DPS, and this is why I'm really baffled at all of this because why shouldn't a support player get the same recognition as a DPS player in the same team. Like the example I gave with the friend that I played with, um, and we're going to see more examples in this video. How can they be in the same game as me, and we do the same thing and achieve the same result effectively, yet they get double the reward? What the hell? That, that's just not fair. Right, let's take a look at some stuff because this is very, very interesting. 60% win rate mercy, right? 60% win rate is fantastically high. I have a 60% win rate on Stylos' account, which admittedly hasn't played many games this season. I think it's played 21 games or something like that this season on Soldier 76, and it's nearly 3.9k rated that account is right now. That is pretty good, 60% win rate. So a mercy with 60% win rate, you'd expect the same thing. Well, look at this. I have more hours on Mercy and Ranked. I finished close to Master last season and got placed at 2.5k this season. I'm struggling to get into Diamond, let alone Master, despite a 60% win rate. Now, we don't know how many games this player has played, so he might have only played a few games, in which case that might explain it. But on the other hand, what probably explains it is shockingly low SR gains every time they win. If a support player has to, in some extreme cases, win three games to equal one DPS or tank win, well, that's stupid. What? And then we've got this. This is a list of Mercy SR gains and losses. Now, of course, all of these screenshots in this video are taken from the forum. So maybe people would lie or whatever, but I find that very hard to believe because generally people are honest when they're reporting what's happening to their sort of their play style, or at least that's kind of what I've found. Yes, but I know some people might be a little bit kind of um, skewed one way or the other, but whatever. It serves it per its purpose for this video. Look at this. This is Mercy from the 13th of April. Um, a loss, minus 29, and then minus 27, and then a win, plus 23. Well, that doesn't really add up, does it? That doesn't even wipe out one of those losses. And then another loss of 28, and then a win with plus 18. <laughs> right? How? What? Okay. And then plus 23. Oh, that's a pretty good result. Then minus 26, minus 21, minus 32, minus 28, plus 25, plus 18, and plus 23. That is not great. That is really, really not great. But what about this? What about Tracer versus Mercy? I thought this would be an interesting little example. So check this out. 12 games as Mercy with 5 losses and 7 wins resulted in me having 14 SR less than I began with. So 12 games with Mercy, 5 losses and 7 wins actually ended up with 14 less SR even though this player had won 3 more games than he lost, okay? So then he started playing his Tracer and sometimes Rodog, but mostly Tracer. Seven games played with three losses and four wins resulted in the player actually gaining 50 SR. Okay. With this trend, four to seven, 57% Tracer wins will end insanely different than seven to 11, which is obviously the win and loss rate, which is a 58% win rate on Mercy, about 64 SR more with DPS. Now, that's ridiculous. So, and then the person goes on to say, how does this make any sense just as a balanced game? How is it okay to undermine a crucial role so much and communicate with so little, uh, so little with the players? Well, I guess I'm Tracer main now because that's the only way I'm going to get SR. Okay. <laughs> you know, I mean, you can't argue with this. It's like, right, fair enough. So what about same games and massive SR difference? Well, check this out. My friend and I smurf together. I usually heal. Or you shouldn't really smurf together, but whatever. I usually heal on my main account. Uh, but on the smurf, I decided that I wanted to play Reinhardt. He went with Mercy almost every game. Fair enough. After we, I, ended up reaching Diamond, we noticed that there is a 300 SR difference between me and him. We played every single game together. <laughs> this is ridiculous. How can that be real? Like, how can that be real? The Mercy player is still, like, in the winning team. Like, I don't get it. Like, I just don't understand why we don't all get the same number of SR for a win. Like, I know what they're trying to do is rapidly adjust players. And it's like, okay, this player's performed extremely well. So he needs a lot more SR than this other player who hasn't performed as well. Because his MMR is so much higher than this other person's. But they're basing the MMR calculations seemingly off how long you're on fire. Which is very hard to achieve with the supports. Which is why we've got this issue. So what about Zen and 
Lucio. Well, check this out. I can confirm from playing several games last night as Zen that fire is still buggy for both Zen and Lucio. For Zen, according to my average stats, I would get 15-20% to on fire per game. Since the Orisa patch, it has been a constant 0-3%. to This in turn has tanked my average fire for uh, as I've continued to play and I've kept reaching my wins, uh, recording my wins, losses and team ratings etc for 4 science lol. I'm a decent Zen player, at least according to Overbuff, I'm top 300 Zen. Please check me out for more details. So, yeah, so this player is reporting that he's getting a ton less on fire playing Zen just after the Orisa patch, which, which was when the assist um, on fire nerf hit the supports, which is, well, not great. So what about more duo examples? Well, check this out. Adding to the Mercy Low SR gain train, me and a mate duoed. I was Mercy, he was Soldier. We went five wins and two losses. I gained a total of 55 points, roughly 18 points a win. He gained a total of 106 points, roughly 35 points a win. I usually play Lucio, but we recently had a nice combo of damage boosting soldier, so we stuck with it. I can understand me being 10 or so points behind, depending on player performance, but him gaining nearly double the points just seems completely wrong. And it is. How the hell can a DPS player be double as powerful as a support player, which is standing behind the DPS player, giving him the goddamn damage boost, which is letting him kill everybody on the enemy team. Ladies and gentlemen, this is starting to trigger me, and it takes a lot to trigger me, and it just, it's crazy. I mean, what the hell? So what about this? Well, if Blizzard patches an inferior system in, I will do anything to abuse it. Mm, I don't really like that attitude, but okay. Last matches on King of the Hill, I always got plus 27 SR or higher, and all I did was just staying on the point instead of behind it to take cover like before. And if we're getting stomped, trolled, I use pointless reses to save my SR. It works for me. Now what's going on here is this player is using S uh, using his res because that generates a lot of uh, on fire rating for Mercy. So in theory, a Mercy that constantly reses, even if it's a pointless res but he's constantly doing it, will actually be a better Mercy than the Mercy that's actually healing people, keeping them alive. Um, and so not needing to use the res as often. How does that make sense? Like that's counterintuitive to the way the game's been designed and it's, it, well, it's, it's insane. I think we'll end on this. So this is another post off the forums and it's because we enjoy playing supports that we continue to play them. We just want similar and or equal SR gains and losses to other roles. Why should healers be the ones, uh, be, the, be the one role to get ganked? If the situation was reversed and the DPS roles were having this problem, I assure you that the entire forum would be up in flames. If nobody plays healers, then we're all fucked. Don't play the class. It's not a solution to the problem. Uh, yeah, that is not a solution. So, basically, what, what we've got here is a, a quite severe bias towards DPS players. And... Yes, there are some anomalies to this. Yes, there will be the odd support main who is in like the top 500 or whatever. Most of it, though, is Genji, it's Farah, it's Roadhog, it's Soldier, right? It's Tracer. It's players or heroes that kill the enemy team. Now, you can argue that, yes, they probably do take the highest mechanical skill. But that's not what Overwatch is all about. It's a team game. Without proper support in place, those players can't go around and do what they like. Now... There's going to be a war probably in the comments below between supports and DPS. And I don't want that because I play supports, I play DPS, I play tanks. Tanks are kind of the outlier. They do okay, so we don't really have to worry about them. Roadhog is a bit of a special example because, well, he does a load of damage and he's a tank. I guess Zarya could go into that slot as well. Um, but it, it's not so much DPS versus support versus tanks. It's just why are supports getting the poorest rewards after the end of a competitive game when the support's contribution is just as important as the DPS's contribution. Now, I want to be... Like most of this video, I've just been sort of going at Blizzard, but I want to be kind of devil's advocate for this and just say maybe it isn't actually Blizzard's fault. Maybe Blizzard are trying to work this out because it's very easy to gauge a DPS player's effectiveness, right? Because it's how much damage they're doing, how many eliminations they're doing, right? And who they're killing, basically, right? That That's it, right? If you can work that out and how many times they die, which is very easy to work out. The game basically shows you these stats. Anyway, that's awesome. It's very easy to work out. That means that they can gauge that player's skill easier than a support player's skill, which is based off a lot of different things which are arguably untrackable, like um, communication and 
when to correctly use their abilities and all of this stuff. So it's much more difficult. So maybe that's why Blizzard are still working on this. And as they've, they've said in the post, they are kind of still working on it. A little bit worrying from the quality assurance guy where it was like, oh, no, actually, I think you'll find it's OK, which is kind of, well, it's not. If any of the evidence I've showed you in this video, guys, is to be believed. Now, what I want you guys to do in the comments below is let me know if this has happened to you. Do you duo with a DPS player? Are you a support player that duos with somebody else? Have you noticed shockingly low SR gains? If you have, let me know why. Let me know how many SR you've, you've lost. Let's see if we can get evidence together in the comments below and see if this actually is an issue. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been Salosa and this is Unit Lost. And this has been uh, a very detailed discussion on the apparent SR or rather lack of SR that Deep, uh, that, that support players get, and especially Mercy. I'll catch you next time, guys. You can follow me on Twitter, which is at Unit Lost Gaming. Toodaloo.